So, I guess it's just me, but, like, I'm in the forums, I'm reading, everybody's saying it's a good port, performance is great, they're getting high frame rates, the resolution looks good, everything looks good about the game. So, I downloaded it because it's free, which I recommend everybody's doing, everybody to do on PC. Download it, it's free, it won't hurt. So, I downloaded it, and... I'm expecting, you know, to have fun with this game, to, you know, see, like, what all the hype is about Forza, because I never played the Forza game before, like, I had an Xbox One for a quick, like, a month or two before selling it back for PS4, before I sold that shit for PC parts, but I never had experience with Forza, so I was excited when they announced it for PC, but I downloaded it, and... I was able to do the first race, like, they, as soon as you start the game off, you got to do one race. But even in that game, I was getting constant stutters, frame rate drops. It looked good, but it's like, when you getting the frame rate drops, and every five seconds the screen is tearing or something, it takes you out the mode, it kind of pisses you off. So, after the first game, after the first race, I'm, I'm still thinking 2K. After the first race, they take you gotta go to a second race, which is cool. But yet, after the first race, I just wanted you know <clears throat> to uh, change the settings around, see what could be done to you know have a more stable gameplay. Well, they don't even show you, they don't even tell you to the menu. You have to quit out the game and restart the whole game just to get to the menu. But I don't know if that was the right thing to do because as you can see in the beginning, three times the game has crashed at the same spot. And then when the game doesn't crash, it's a, it's a fucking loading screen. Like, right now you're looking at the loading screen, which this the one that didn't crash. But yet, it was loading for 20 fucking minutes. I mean... God damn, I never, I never played a game where loading times was that much, and I thought it was just me where, you know, maybe, you know, I should, I should have installed it on my SSD, maybe that's why loading times was bad, this was at like the five minute mark, and I'm like, what, well, you know, loading times probably bad, but then I noticed after 10 minutes, it's still loading, so I got on Twitter, after 15 minutes, it's still loading, after 20 minutes, it's still loading. After 25 minutes, it was still loading. So I said, fuck this game. Like, I'm not about to sit here and play. I'm not finna sit here and wait another 30, 40 minutes for this. What type of shit is this? Like, Microsoft, I said this in a previous video. If you're not gonna release games and release them with good port, it's not gonna be a good port. They don't release the bullshit at all. Like, I'd rather not have it than have some shit. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's, like, my sadness. Maybe it's my uh, specs on my computer, which really shouldn't be a problem. Because Gears of War gave me good performance. The only problem I had with Gears of War was that I couldn't use Shadow Play, which is another it's still an issue in this game. Ironically, though, I could record with Shallow Play, but you have to go through some extra means for it. And while you're recording with Shallow Play, like you have to record your desktop with Shallow Play if you want to record gameplay from a Windows 10 app. The thing was, it was recording, but the um, the sim, the my um, what's the word I'm looking for? My the symbol at the bottom of the screen where it tells you where you're recording the indicator. It says it was not recording, but then when I go back and I watch the file, it was recording. So I don't know what's up with that. If Microsoft just needs to release the update to allow us to use Shadow Play, I don't want to use Xbox Game DVR because half the time that shit don't even work. Yesterday when I was trying to record, my Xbox Game Bar wasn't popping up. Every time I press the Xbox button, the uh, it changes to a keyboard input. So. I don't know, maybe they released the update overnight because today I was able to access the game bar. But other than that, it was just like, can I use, can I even use Xbox DVR for this shit to record? My, see, 
right now, if you was maybe expecting some gameplay from this, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but it's just not going to happen because I can't get into a fucking race. What I might do is just try to uninstall the shit and just play Overwatch. That's what I'm going to do because that game is actually fun. That's a game I recommend y'all to play. It's open beta right now until Monday. So I say just play that. Fuck Windows 10. Fuck these games. You might as well don't even play them. Like Quantum Break, I heard, was horrible on PC. Gears is a good port. I will say that. But once again, you got to use Xbox DVR to record, which is bullshit. Because the settings are lower. But, you know, if you if you got any solutions, like, you know how to fix this, just hit, just comment. Hit me up on Twitter or something. I'm, I really want to play. I really want to play a racing game. I never really got into racing games. I want to give it a try. So, if you have any solutions, just tell me. Like it. Like the video. Comment. You know, all that bullshit. But, I will be releasing another video today. It's going to be Overwatch gameplay. This might not be today because I'm lazy as hell. It might be Sunday, actually. Actually, it might be Monday. So, just be on the lookout for that one. Uh, peace out. Thank <laughs> you.